Okay, but we're wired differently. And this difference is something to be celebrated, not fought against. Okay? Male, female, good. God said it's good. Um, here's, you know, just a few examples. So, like, recently, my wife and I got into a new house. So, we're, I'm doing a lot of cutting of cardboard boxes and going to the recycle center. And she's doing a lot of interior design. And I'm like, sometimes I kind of, you know, stick my nose and I'm like, hey, this blue chair should go here because it matches better. And then she says, no, honey, it's not blue, it's green. <laughs> you, you're, she's like, you're colorblind. And I'm like, no, it's blue, I promise you. Um, and then I went on the internet and it says men are more likely to be colorblind. So there you go. It's science. You know, we, we needed to let them do their thing and just know when to keep our mouths shut. Um, and so also at night, men, if you're laying down next to your wife and she's like, honey, I think someone's breaking into the home. Hopefully your answer isn't, hey, I'm snoring. Why don't you go take care of it? You know, like hopefully that's not what gender roles have become. Um, also, like we just recently got enough boxes out of one side of the garage. Men, who's getting that side of the garage in winter? Okay, I just want to see how far our culture has progressed. Like, okay, she's getting it. And then science also agrees that the skin and bone density of men is thicker. So she's going to be colder than me in the morning. She should get it. See, science is on the Bible's side. Um, what's my point? <laughs> the point is that our gender differences are not to be fought against, but to be celebrated. We are different in ways. You know, we know that. Okay? Let's, let's go with... Long time, timeless truth, rather than being impacted by some foolishness. 